the past winters we've been hearing about valley fever, but we just heard people got tired from it. When I got home, I just had my ears were hurting, and so I went to Marie Anderson, a nurse practitioner in Drayton, and she um, uh, looked at my ears and said I had a sinus infection and that I had fluid on my ears, and, and then I had a rash on me, and she said, uh, have you changed laundry detergent? I said, no. She said, I wonder what's going on, and I said, I don't know. So, and the next week we went to a funeral and stopped with our grandchildren and stayed um, at a brand new hotel in Fargo, and I went swimming with them. Well, a day after that, or two days after I started to get, they looked like boils on my knees. So my, my knees were hurting, and I had these boils, and I thought I better make an appointment with Marie and show her this. And in the meantime, I started to get spots all over my legs, and I got my ankle swelled up just about probably three times its normal size. And I went back to Marie, and she took one look at it and said, I don't know what it is. She said, I'm going to get you an appointment with a dermatologist. You need blood work. You need um, to have um, a biopsy done. She said, I, we've got to get you in right away. So she sent me to Jennifer Tinkler, who in turn uh, sent me to Dr. Nasheen, had a chest x-ray. Uh, Jennifer Tinkler did a, a biopsy of my leg. Um, she saw me and she knew right away, and by then I had boils, look like boils. She calls them something else, but they look like boils on my hands. And she said, classic valley fever. She said, I, I know that. She said, I will consult with doctors in Arizona. I want to make sure that we do the right thing. She said, I'm going to do blood work more blood work and I want it sent to Mayo and I will call you and she called me and um, everything was sent to Mayo um, which was very comforting just to know that you know you were at the best. And literally the valley fever had started at my head. I had night sweats, I had an itchy scalp, I had headaches and my wrist got so sore I thought somebody had, was twisting my wrist. I couldn't open even a bottle of water. Um, my knees were so sore I could hardly walk. It was incredible, just the way it just traveled through my body. It's incredible how many people have had it and have been misdiagnosed, and I wasn't. So I feel very fortunate. I just, I just always know with Marie that she will always pass me on. You know, if she doesn't know what she's doing, she isn't going to guess. She is so good, and she has such a good re reputation up there. She's just a wonderful NP. To Jennifer Tinkler to get me in right away, to Dr. Nasheen, to consulting, to calling me. She'd answer every question, you know, am I going to, am I going to get valley fever again? You can. You can have a relapse. I mean, she just educated me totally on the disease. So I can tell people when I get back there. I mean, I had such good care. Marie called me back to see how things were. Uh, Jennifer Tinkler did. I mean, I just had so much follow-up and um, thorough that I was just so impressed that I just wanted to tell all true what a good job they did. <laughs>